Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to edit a tenant's rental invoice. To get started, simply go over to the contacts menu and select the tenant that you wish to edit the invoice for. Now, keep in mind, there are different places and ways that you can access different rental invoices or invoices of any type, including using the universal search bar, as well as simply going to the accounting tab and using the various filter and setting options there. In this case, though, we'll just select tenants because we already know where we want to go, and we'll select view profile on the tenant's contact card. And from there, we'll go ahead and select the accounting tab. From here, we are going to select the invoice that we want to edit. In this case, it is the latest invoice titled Tenant Charges and Fees in the amount of $25. You can see that it is overdue, but it does not have any payments applied to it. Keep in mind that there are some scenarios in which you may not be able to edit an invoice. One of those is where actual money has been exchanged online through the tenant cloud platform and the tenant has actually sent in funds for this invoice and that has been recorded under the payments and activity section. In that case, you may not be able to edit or change certain parts of the invoice. In this particular case, nothing has been paid or recorded online for this particular invoice, so we do have the ability to edit it in multiple ways. A few of those ways are to select the Actions tab where we can apply deposits to this invoice, we can apply credits, or we can even add a discount, void it, delete it, or make it a recurring invoice or clone it, or we can simply edit it. In this case, we're going to drop it down to $15 because of some type of agreement perhaps we had with the tenant in a conversation. And we're going to put in a note here that says something along those lines, talked with tenant and agreed to reduce to $15 this one time. From here, you can also upload a file. Maybe it could be an email exchange thread or an invoice or receipt or something of that nature that supports this change on this invoice, and then we can go ahead and select confirm. Once that is done, it will now show that the invoice is for $15, still overdue, and everything else remains the same, including the transaction ID. You'll see that the note shows up here underneath the details, as well as any attachments in this section that we might have attached on this invoice. And that is how easy it is to edit a rental invoice on a tenant's account on Tenant Cloud. To get started for free, just go to www.tenantcloud.com and click sign up today.